contained in section 7.3 and we have the claim that the mean dive duration of a North Atlantic right whale is 11.4 minutes. So this is 11.4 minutes means that we have equality so that needs to be um, the null hypothesis and it's about a mean so we have mu is equal to 11.4 that means the complement of that is going to be the alternative, which would be the mean is not equal to 11.4. And the claim is the null hypothesis, as stated up here in the, in the problem. So the next part of the question asks to find the p-value and find the test statistic. So this is for a mean, so we're going to go to t-stat, one sample, with summary. So we went out and took a sample of 33 dives and the average um, dive was 12.5 minutes with a standard deviation of 2.2 and the sample size was 33 dives and we're going to run the hypothesis test on the assumption of 11.4 minutes which is the claim and this will remain not equal to our hypothesis test. When we compute the hypothesis test, we get a test statistic of 2.87, 2.87 rounded to two decimal places, and that gives us a p-value over here. The p-value is 0 0.007 rounded to three decimal places. The next part of the question asked to decide whether or not to reject or fail to reject the null. So the p-value is less than our significance level of alpha of 10%. So 0 0.007 is less than 0 0.10. So we have evidence to reject because the p-value is not greater than alpha. It is less than alpha. Now we have to interpret our decision. So we made a decision to reject the null. And any time um, you have a low p-value, that means you, there is evidence at the 10% significance level to reject the claim, which is also the null hypothesis, that the mean dive duration of a North Atlantic right whale is equal to 